All right, so I'm getting ready to grind some pork so I can make some wild rice blueberry snack sticks. I have some halogen casings, I have my pork, I have my seasoning, I have wild rice, I already cooked that last night, and I have some blueberries. So I'm gonna show you how I put together my grinder. I have a carnivore, one horsepower. It's kind of interesting if you haven't seen one of the other before. So you need your throat, that on, tighten that up. You need your spinner. And you want to make sure that's in, and you twist it, make sure it's set. And then the blade, blade always goes first. Different sizes. You have your more coarse ground, refined ground. I'm going to use fine ground, so then I know I have to put it through one time. People always do differently. Sometimes if you have coarse ground hot dogs, you'll just do the bigger one. I'm just making snack sticks, so I think I'll just send it through one time with my plate. I'll see how it looks when I do it. So you have a notch on that. You're trying to put it on the notch on the bottom. Your blade, you want this side out, not that side. So twist that on. Make sure that slips in there. And you'll know when it's on. And then this holds everything together. an ice pack made for this. So this just goes right on and it keeps it cool because when you're grinding meat you don't want the fat content to get too warm if it sticks to the inside of the grinder and it doesn't all grind through. So the colder the meat, the colder the grinder, the better your grind is going to be. And then we have my plunger to push the meat down because you don't want to put your hands in the hole. So let's get grinding. All right, about to grind some meat. Here I have a pork shoulder deboned and cut up into thin enough pieces I can drop it through the hopper. So you always want something in there cold. You don't ever want to start up a grinder with nothing in there because you don't want to burn it up or fry it. So I'm going to turn it on. <laughs> Just gonna keep feeding it. Keep dropping in the pork. Been doing this long enough, I know just how big to make my pieces. And again, they're pretty, pretty frozen. Do that on purpose so then they grind better. <laughs> See my kids play set in the background. And if we need to use the plunger, just shut it down. up grinding it twice. I have my blueberries, wild rice, and my seasoning. So seasoning on, 
salt, sugar, pepper, cure. Everything done up for seven pounds. We've got about half a pound of blueberries and about a half a pound, half a cup of blueberries and about a cup of wild rice. So I'm going to mix that in real good. It already smells good. And after I get this mixed up, I'm going to break off a little piece, heat it up in the microwave, make sure it's how I want it, and then I can start to stuff it with the grinder in my casings that I thought I brought out, but apparently didn't. All right, for my setup, I just want to show you when you're stuffing casings, you have this bit, square, goes on, chuck. Then you have this guy for the casings. It goes on. And then the plate. Usually I have a stuffer I use. Got my wild rice, blueberry, ready to go. It's gonna come through there. Got my halogen casings, collagen casing. Wild rice, blueberry snack sticks going into a collagen casing that I'll leave in the casing tonight because it has cure in it and the cure has to penetrate all the meat. And then I'll put it in the smoker tomorrow. Stuffer that's usually a lot faster. Haven't used this tube too much. Just figured I'd try it out and see how it goes. It's pretty slow. Good thing I only have seven pounds to do. If I had more than that, I'd probably put everything into the stuff there instead. Bought a whole lot of pork butts from Restaurant Depot in Brooklyn Park for $1.29 a pound, boneless, and that's a really good deal. So I bought like three packages, 17 pounds each. So I just figured I'd take one of the pork butts and make a sausage out of it. Snack sticks, I already ground up two of them into just bulk ground pork that we can use for hamburger helper or anything like that. It's a good deal, good way to get meat on the table for cheap. And so this is 
going to take quite a while, as you can see. I'll just put it in the fridge overnight, or on a pan, on a tray, and then I'll lay it out in the smoker tomorrow. You want to get it in the casings kind of stiff. You don't want it to be very loose, because as it cooks, the fat is going to cook out. You don't want it to be too shriveled. And I'm putting all these videos on my Grainiac page on YouTube. If you haven't checked it out, look at it. The Grainiac on YouTube. Got a lot of how-to videos on there. I just got done redoing my pop-up camper. We did cleaned up the canvas. I replaced a rotten board. I redid a lot of the wiring, put new lights on it, redid a lot of the trim. I can hear one of the kids running around upstairs, so they might be down here in a second. Just finishing up. I'm gonna cut this middle. Bit to go just for the sausage making. So I hang right on there. Let's see. Here's the end. Smoker. Make sure they're not touching. Make sure they're not touching. Put the thermometer on there. 